He is a boy's boy. Oh, he boy. has liked sports since he was teeny tiny. In 2013, in the spring of 2013, Tyler fell on the playground at school. He had a headache, he had some trouble with vision, he wasn't feeling well, he wasn't being himself. It was actually really scary. He was, he was really dizzy, very um, unstable. He, he couldn't support himself to walk, he would fall. I felt different, yeah, like it really hurt, like I kind of couldn't walk in a straight line. One of the things that we did with Tyler was be a little bit extra careful and cautious in restricting his activities, both at school, in sports, and at home. Dr. Cumbery did a great job of explaining to Tyler what the implications would be if he didn't appropriately heal. So then in the fall of 2013, uh, Tyler received his second concussion. This one was received on the practice field during a football uh, practice. When we see a kid with a concussion, we're treating the kid and the parent. Both of them need the education about what a concussion is, what the risks are. Tyler, when he had that second concussion, returning to sports was paramount for him. Parents need to understand that even though they think their kid looks okay, their kid might tell them they're okay. They're not okay. And that's where some of the testing comes into play, some of the balance stuff that we do, some of the uh, computerized testing that we do that helps us make a decision. Is this kid ready? Is this kid not ready? Even though they look okay, they examine okay, their balance is all right, but they blow up the computer test and it's like their brain's not ready. He educated both of us when we visited, you know, what, what does it take to get back out there and be healthy and not have this reoccur. We, we've talked with Dr. Connery about that after he had the second concussion and Tyler right now is probably one concussion away from being done uh, with sports which will be heartbreaking for him but uh, longevity I mean this is just a small window in life he's got to have good brain health so that he can be successful for the rest of his life. Brain rest, brain rest, brain rest. We shut the kids down. We moderate their school exposure, we moderate their school work. We shut down the texting, the gaming, the late night TV. Because also that was a second concussion within about a six month period, he had a more elongated return to, to sports and practice at that point, as well as elongated return to just kind of brain activity. Tyler needed to, to get completely well or it lingers. Our interest is in preserving their brain for later on in life, making sure that they don't go back too soon and making a inconvenient injury into a catastrophic injury. The, the communication um, that Dr. Conberry and the athletic trainer can have back and forth about Tyler's care, about Tyler's return to sport, and that can also then get related to his coaches as well. The athletic trainer being involved with the school, knowing those coaches, knowing those kids, is just a, a, it gives us a wealth of knowledge that we wouldn't ordinarily have. when he gets injured again, and I'm sure there will be an again, and I hope it's nothing too serious, that we can always reach out to Premier Sports Medicine, Dr. Conberry. If it happens on the field or around the field, Chris Tyler can reach out to Chris Cameron, the athletic trainer at the school, and, and, and we can get him the care that he needs.